So I'm here with some really fine gold and black sands, and this is so annoying. Trying to get it out, you've got a magnet, you've got all this stuff, and it's still catching gold. It's still, you know, um, even if you get it to a finer mesh, like, you're still um, getting gold. And uh, you're not, you're not just taking out the black sands. Gold is still left in there, see? And that's a lot of gold to just pick up with, with your magnet. So I'm going to go see Doug. He says he has a solution for the black sands problem. Um, he has two different machines he has made and invented. So we're going to go check him out. And he lives right down the street. So let's go. Do you need soap or anything like that? Yeah, probably. It's got swirl down there, so. You can see some black sands coming out now. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. It's probably still aggressively set. Let me move this over for you too. And that's where you actually see gold kind of land in the corners. So depending on where you do the shutdown, um, at the end, you'll have some gold swirling around in here that hasn't dropped. And you can see the gold up here. If you look, you see all the little bits of gold right in through here as they're washing down. They're working their way down, working their way in. Now, depending on how flat those are, if they have a little bit more roundness versus flatness, you'll get the rounder ones in the first pass and then the flatter ones in the second and then the final pass. But by then all the black sands will be um, separated with both your classifier and by gravity. So everything in the pan will be pretty similar in size and, and weight. So it's doing a flotation separation. And you see the stuff floating up right here, the waste particles slowly rising. And here they're, the neutral particles are swirling as it tries to decide if it should reject them and send them up or if they're heavy enough and they'll float on down into the column and then they'll get flushed on out through the system at the bottom. And that may not have been aggressive enough because we do have quite a bit of black sand in our pan down there. Yeah, it's all black sand. This stuff is like crazy. This is what the magnet picked up. Mm -hmm. This is all the mag the the stuff that didn't come up with the magnet is is still. There's just so much gold in this stuff. Mm. 
And you might stick a tub under there, a little bigger on the finer sands, so it has a harder time flushing them up off of that pan. Because I can see a little bit of black sands trying to get out here on my concrete here. gold with it though. Although this machine is awesome, no, the black we couldn't sands get the driver. and gold still didn't separate. The gold was still too fine. So he has another machine using mercury. Let's check it out. Okay, so uh, today Kim called me and said she has some really flat floaty gold and some heavy concentrates. So what we have is a little teeny uh, hopper here feeding a rock tumbler with a, a small amount of mercury tumbling around in there. And as it tumbles around the... Uh, lightest floatiest particles flush out and the gold collects in our mercury at the bottom of the uh, this, this is actually a, a sniper's bottle for sniping gold uh, cheap rock tumbler the cheapest water pump that you can get for a uh, fish fish pond fish aquarium uh, I don't know it looks like I recycled some uh, little shovel scoop and put a piece of a little piece of aluminum tube to feed it in. It's all handcrafted. High tech stuff here. <laughs> and we're just filling up the bottle now so we got to get enough concentrates in there so it can start separating. So we want to get about uh, just below that water line right about where the neckline is with the concentrates in there. So three four scoops and then we just feed it about one of these scoops every about 15 minutes. And uh, this isn't fast, it's like a little gold piggy bank. So when the timer kicks on and you hear it make a noise, you come over here and give it a little scoop of dirt. And let it do all the work for you. And after oh, a few days, or even if, uh, in some cases a week, it's taken me to run some large amounts of black sands, but it's uh, very little work to walk over here and, and feed it one of these little scoops in, in this little hopper. I've got the fish pond set to, this is an 80 gallon per hour fish pond pump and it's set to its minimum flow rate. So you can just now see little swirls of the blonde sands if you look from this angle. Okay, the, the scoop itself, it's, I'm just feeding it one little spoonful. It doesn't take very long for it to wash out of this hopper and then get into the, the tumbler. But I usually let it run for a little while to just do its thing, grind the gold up, shine the gold up so we can capture it in the mercury and slowly separate out the lightest particles from the heaviest particles because I don't want to overfeed it. And if you look... Hopefully you can just see the... You can actually see them in the dirt. You can see the blonde material coming out first. That's Those are the first particles to get rejected. After that, the heavy mineral sands will get rejected. And then eventually, if you get enough gold built up in there, eventually it'll try to start spitting the gold out that nozzle. But that takes uh, many ounces to get to that point. So the mercury is just floating around there collecting it's, the gold. It's actually tumbling in the very bottom corner the whole time. It just rolls in a ball in the very, very bottom corner. It's almost impossible to see it down there. Like it needs a few more scoops before it's going to be flat enough to start spitting um, some of the heavier mineral sands out. So he made this himself, guys. I think it's really impressive because <laughs> I look at the look at the gold that I've been trying to get. Do you see it? It's flat I mean, like foil. It's floating up on top of the black sands. Yeah, it's not, it's, oh man, I've tried everything, magnet, everything, to, and it just, it, it'll, 
it's not nothing else was working so of course i enlisted an expert <laughs> doug to help me out let's see if you can see the sands coming in there now. can you see those now some of the little bit darker sands mm -hmm. Got a little bit of uh, rinse aid in there, of course. Might add a little bit more. And what's the rinse aid used for? That's going to help uh, the silt fall out and the gold settle. So if there's any oils on the gold, it's going to help them uh, help them clean the gold mm -hmm. and get it to settle to the bottom. So it won't try to float up and out with the water because there's oils on it. So it's just just a cleaning agent. So nice and boring now. Now just once you got it up to uh, where it's initially fed, then after that you just feed it one of these little scoops every once in a while and walk away. All right. So a couple of weeks later, awesome. because I was feeding it as I had time, because I'm working and stuff now. But um, this is what came out of it. We've got this and another uh, big glob of gold filled mercury that I had already put away uh, in the freezer and restarted it with more mercury. So we are about to put this inside the retort and uh, see exactly how much gold we got. All right, so here it is all together. And we are putting it inside the retort in the little crucible that we have right there. We, I won this actually at the Amra dinner. Um, and yeah, so we are going to put the mercury, gold filled mercury, however you want to put it, put some water in here. And uh, yeah torch the other end and see how much gold we actually get out of it. Alright, so that's what we got. Hell yeah. Let's wet it. Let's not wet that. Feels like a couple grams. Yeah. Maybe maybe two and a half grams on that. It's real thick. Hell yeah. And if you squeeze that with a plier, it would just break up into a whole bunch of little almost dust again. Mm. But it's loosely stuck together now. Awesome. So like if I ever could make a button. Yeah, you can melt that right into a button now. Yeah. yeah. It's ready to be melted into a button. But yeah. Nice. Sweet. This is the mercury ball that was recovered from the the retort, mercury retort. And now we can use it again. So cool. <laughs> All right, so here we go. As I mumble that, like that. <laughs> you owe me four grand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, Tiff still has like a whole bunch of this stuff, so. Mm-hmm. And I'm it's, sure it's, she wouldn't mind. It's it literally not costing you any time necessarily. I mean, you hear it kick on, you feed it, right? Mm -hmm. Other than that, it took us longer to sit out there and play with that torch, probably than you've actually been. You know, as far as like time, you don't actually probably pay this thing too much attention. Let's get it all cleaned up, though. So. Well, here we have it. That was very easy to use. And uh, Ray, a.k.a. Dig Dug Dig, if you would like one of these, just contact him. I'm sure he can give you the plans or sell you one or two of these things. Came in super handy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.